How are you? Amazing. Award winner. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely on a cloud. I feel like I've fainted or something, and this is actually not happening, you know? Uh, so, yeah, really thrilled. It's, it's lovely to see that a, a casting director, somebody who's in pre-production, is actually getting recognised for yeah. the work, because without yeah. the right casting, you yeah. haven't got the I know, and long may it rain, I really hope it starts to get recognised. Uh, Biffa and brilliant to lead the way in Britain. There's the Emmys in, in America, um, but there's nothing here in Britain to recognise casters, so I, I really hope it expands and maybe becomes its own... I feel so overwhelmed to be the first person to win it, you know, and I feel quite responsibility, so this is for all casting directors, because I know how hard you work and how many bad theatre shows you have to go to. Well, we're here, it's independent film, and independent film is often where new talent emerges. And so, for when a, an actor comes up in front of you for, for casting, what kind of advice can you give them um, to be prepared for when they come to you? Yeah, uh, it's really obvious stuff, but you'd be amazed how many people don't follow it. Be on time or be early. Dress slightly towards the character that you know the cast is looking for. Be completely off page. The minute you have your head down and in a script, um, the top geezers, the top directors won't look twice at you when they're watching the tape back um, and keep going, you know, it's about technique and when people come out of drama school they've got the right stage technique but it takes another 18 months for them to learn camera technique and an audition is a skill in itself and it's confidence walking in uh, without Feet without giving off any kind of neediness because a lot of the time the director just wants to know can I work with this pe person for 10 weeks or eight in the case of The Hobbit three years you know yeah so you've worked on independent film as we see for The Selfish Giant at today and also the big budget stuff like that The Hobbit so how do, do working in those big different budgets compare to you um, the I don't know, it feels the same in a weird way, you know? Um, obviously, you can, you've got complete freedom on something like The Hobbit. Uh, Peter Jackson just gives you complete reign to see as many people as you want to see, and there's very little in terms of brief. So you can try anything, and you're never going to feel like someone's going to say, why did you bring that guy in? You can try um, all sorts of people and, until something sticks, you know? Whereas with The Selfish Giant, you've got time constraints, and on this, we, we devoted weeks and weeks and weeks to finding the kids. And I think we did the adults in about a week. You know, we had two or three days with Clio. Some of them she didn't even meet. She cast from tape. Um, so it's a time constraint thing. But I've wanted a film in four days I cast it. It can be done. Yeah. Ghosted. It's really good. <laughs>